Mussorgsky ends his musical homage to his friend Victor Hartmann with two paintings tied to his home country. The hut on hand's leg is a scherzo depicting a clock shaped as a Baba Yaga's hut. The second one couldn't be more Russian, the Great Gate at Kiev. Hello everyone, I'm Jamal Grillo and I welcome you to a new episode of Conducting Pills. If you're new here, this channel is all about classical music, score analysis and conducting tips. I want to thank all of my patrons for making this series possible. Now, on with Mussorgsky. After the somberness of the previous movement, which included a variation on the promenade in B minor, Mussorgsky presents us with a new painting, changing tone completely and jumping into an allegro sombrio. The adjective feroce adds the idea of something wild. In Stadov's comment, Herman's drawing depicted a clock in the form of a Baba Yaga's hut on Fowl's legs. In Slavic folklore, Baba Yaga is a supernatural being who appears as a deformed or ferocious looking old woman. The Baba Yaga lived in a hut usually described as standing on chicken legs. The movement is built on an ABA plus coda structure. The motives in this movement evoke the bells of a large clock and the whirlwind sounds of a chase. The lines are a succession of ups and downs. A cell of the motive is used to build an upward chromatic scale. answered by a downward motif. The scale is expanded by the brass, and the clock's bell resounds brightly in the trumpets and horns. The material is expanded. The quarter note alternate with the eighth notes heard earlier in a combination that becomes tighter and tighter. That is also the great use of percussions, timpani, triangles, snare drums, cymbals. The line moves down, sweeps back up and then down again, ending up on the clock's quarter notes and moving to the central part of the move. The central section, the trio of this scherzo, is a contrasting andante mosso. Flutes 1 and 2 alternate and accompaniment in triplets, while the bassoon and double basses make use of the material we heard in the first part. The conversation continues, including the clarinets and the rest of the strings in it. It's all very delicate and airy until it's not anymore. The atmosphere becomes heavier and the tuba, doubled by the cellos and basses, is entrusted with the motif. The allegro molto that follows is an almost identical repetition of the first part. The coda develops as a long scale and leading right into the final painting. According to Statov, Hartmann's sketch was his design for city gates at Kiev in the ancient Russian massive style, with the cupola shaped like a Slavonic helmet. Hartmann designed a monumental gate for Tsar Alexander II to commemorate the monarch's narrow escape from an assassination attempt on April 4, 1866. His design won the national competition, but plans to build the structure were later cancelled. The movement is structured as a rondo in A, B, A, B, C, A, D, A form. The opening is given to the brass, bassoons and percussions in a majestic E-flat major. The woodwinds join in to conclude the phrase. and the episode is repeated in fortissimo in full orchestra. The following part, the B section, is very solemn and is based on a baptismal in from the repertory of Russian Orthodox chant. 
Pavel assigns this A flat minor chant to the clarinets and bassoons. The main theme returns, accompanied by ascending and descending figures in the woodwinds and strings. Notice the two harps doubling these scales. It's time for the hymn again, now in an E-flat minor and supported by the oboes and flutes. The following section, C in the Rondo Secession, immediately reminds of the previous painting with the clocks and bells. The crescendo expands on the same idea, including all sections of the orchestra gradually until we hear the promenades theme. The main motif of the movement is back once again, with yet another variation in the orchestration. Notice the triplets in the strings giving movement and tension. One final transition takes advantage of those triplets. and leads to the very end of this masterpiece where the motif explodes in all its grandiosity. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button right below this video and uh, ring the bell so that you will get notified every time a new video comes out. For more in-depth analysis, conducting technique and conducting exercises, look on my website where you can find more than 100 videos and follow my Facebook group. And if you want to support this series, you're always welcome to do so on Patreon. All the links are in the description. Let me know in the comments what you think about this piece, if you have any suggestions for future videos. And uh, till next time, please continue to enjoy music and be well. Ciao! Generally speaking, a pulsing point corresponds with the beat within the pattern. These points are connected by a stroke, straight or curved. Each stroke can also have other characteristics. Long